Hello buddies, I am Trickshot from Warlocks Gaming enlightening you with a brand new video on this channel. Well this video is all about tips and tricks for showdown matches in Brawl Stars so that you guys can get the best outcome from any situation. So let's go. Number 1. Know the map This can be considered as one of the basic of all tips. Though it is quite easy to comprehend, yet you will find a ton of people with very poor choice of brawlers and sweating their pants off to get those trophies. Firstly, check the map and understand their specifics like spawns, covers and boxes. Then try using brawlers which can suit the map more or less. Understanding the map gives you a greater perspective of dealing with all situations whether good or bad. This helps in being decisive of your actions and prevents rash gameplay and gives you a tactical advantage in the game. A map with more cover will definitely give you the green light to use throwers and melee brawlers with less difficulty. Yet one might find oneself in a tough spot at times. The best way is to get the best spot in the map and controlling the entire area to keep all aggressors away and then gradually closing in towards the center tactically. Blindly rushing to get a kill is purely reckless. Better way is to grab as many power troops as possible and then gradually advancing towards the enemies with a proper knowledge of one's stats, keeping in mind the position of all enemy brawlers in range and checking all the bushes. Moving on. Number 2. Brawler Choice Just like using a bull or shell in a map with more bushes or using Rico in maps with more wall cover is very effective. Similarly, using barley in open maps with very less cover is quite pointless. Obviously, some brawlers are way more effective in some maps than the other. So choice of brawler is very important and so is the knowledge of the brawler used. Throwers is better in duo modes with a proper supporting brawler that helps him to land a blow as well as taking one. Melee brawlers are better in maps with more cover of bushes and walls. Trap shooters are obviously better in more open maps usually with another supporting teammate. Ascent brawlers are usually melee or versatile, men should be used like one. Ascent brawlers are comparatively easier to use and handle, so make sure to form those up with power points first and push them high in rank while you have the option. Maxing out brawlers one by one is the best way to progress economically. Keep in mind to upgrade the most versatile brawlers to max first rather than spreading those points over various brawlers. Moving on. Number 3. Movement and Dodging Movement and dodging is the most important aspect to know while playing Brawl Stars. This is a factor which is hard to maintain and master. Once you understand the proper way to evade opponents and dodge their shots, you will be in upper hand. This will give you much better advantage and with more practice, you will achieve flawless eliminations. To master movement and dodging, one must be aware of one's brawler speed as well as the latter's along with the line of fire of the enemy. Normal dodging is a bit easy but dodging under multiple shots from enemies and gradually getting upper hand is way harder. To hone such skills, players must practice with all brothers as much as possible like in 1v1 mode and also gain experience from actual matches itself. Practice in the field provides you much deeper understanding of where the opponent can or will shoot and hence to prevent those shots. Knowing where the opponent will land shots will help you avoid it and even counter attack. It takes time to master something. Same for dodging, give it good practice and don't lose hope and in no time you'll find yourself butter dodging shots and getting much better results along with those trophies. Before moving further, make sure to leave a like and comment, join our discord server and stay updated to all the juicy stuff there. Well, moving on. Number 4. The Overall Player Motives Definitely all of you have seen stuff like 8 primos teaming up in showdown matches and destroying all the rest with no mercy. Such situation is very troublesome and hinders solo to be progress for the rest. Though it's very usually seen at higher trophy ranges, but similar situation with other brawlers is also there. To get the best of such situation, try having a brawler or two on your side, be it using a sad face or spinning for eternity or punching cactuses and tree stumps. Always be on the dominating side whatsoever and try eliminating others and take advantage to win the final spot. Teaming is not recommended at all unless it's the only choice you have. It majorly spoils the fun in the game. Always avoid making unnecessary enemies in matches. Play it well, play it smart and safe. It's pointless to make enemies and dying quick and losing trophies. What is more important is to know the opponent. Be very careful and maintain distance from high DPS teamers even if you trust them, they might backstab you. So try backstabbing them first when you have the power and chance. You gotta know, showdown is about survival and winning, just like any other battle royale. So better to survive throughout by skills or tactical teaming when required. In simple terms, when skills aren't helping, go for the wits. 
remember, opponents are smart too, so don't just move around picking cubes without checking. It can be a bait as well. Moving on. Number 5. Preparation and Survival This is the strategic and tactical portion of the tip. Easy to know and hard to follow. Well, start the match by grabbing as many power cubes as possible with minimum risk. No need to blindly rush towards the center for a few more cubes which might cost you your life and trophies. After getting these power cubes, try getting to a safer spot which can be used as an advantage in the map for your brawler. Then try achieving the control of the entire area and then advance it towards the center, step by step. Try getting your super ASAP, that is very useful. Then it comes to the part where the stronger brawlers are thriving. If there is a fight going on with both enemy brothers with low hit points, try finishing one for a change and the other only if possible. Third part is very useful for ramping up in terms of power cubes, so if you see a soft spot, try hitting there. In case a fight is evidently unwinnable, do not waste your time, play more matches properly every time. Now for the brawler use, always check your setup before entering a match, choose wisely the gadget and the star power, use the one that best suits the map and your use. This will give you further game advantage and will make your brawler and all its actions more effective on the field. Learn from your own mistakes, watch your replays and find your own flaws. This will give you a better view of how good or bad you play. Keep improving the flaws and mastering the better of your skills. Watch esports and competitive matches to get ideas of good gameplay. It's really motivating and helpful. That is all for this video guys. Hope this content will help you improve in your gameplays. See you in the next video.